You guys, I had another strange dream. I'm always having strange dreams, like you wouldn't believe, but this one will probably make you laugh. It's extremely short, all that I remember. And you'll be probably laughing out loud once you hear it, okay? Or maybe disgusted as well, because it is disgusting on how you, <laughs> you wish to interpret it, but it's also funny too. So it was kind of sexual in nature, but not really. So basically, there was this guy, and I saw his penis, and it was erect and everything. I, I don't recall who who the guy actually was, but I put I like put a bunch of whipped cream around it, like you know, going all the way up to the tip of it, and then I put like a cherry on top of it, like oh look, it's like a banana split, okay? So then in return, what I did with with my thing is I put kimchi on it. <laughs> That was it. That was the whole dream. Okay, so let's actually analyze this because I'm like, okay, listen. So this could mean multiple different different things. It's like, in my mind, am I viewing, you know, a penis as like, some like, oh, it's so good. You know what I mean? Like, a, you know, like a um, a treat. You know what I mean? Like, you know. And then, am I viewing like a vagina then as like some stinky nasty thing or something you know it's like ooh, i don't know i don't know or am i ref am i thinking about that just in my head just in general like maybe like what i like or am i thinking it like regarding like my own body i, I don't i don't know you know you know what i mean i just i just don't even know but I just i just found that so interesting because when you really think about it i mean yeah it just it's just fascinating it's such a weird dream such a peculiar odd dream but it's like it can mean multiple different things depending on how you want to interpret it, but yeah, because it's like, I guess for uh, me, you know, as if you're not aware and, you know, maybe, maybe you've been following me for a long time, but it, it's like my uh, sexual identity and, you know, who I'm attracted to has pretty much changed over the years. And I would always say, oh no, you can't really change that sort of thing. And, you know, I've known people who are transgender as well and then it's like once they start taking hormones it's like their their gender identity changes as well so I, I think it's not their gender identity their um, sexual orientation changes as well like who they're attracted to ends up changing and that's find that fascinating because it's like it I think a lot of that is controlled by your your hormones and for me personally you know it's like I for many many years after I transitioned I was only interested in other women and then, you know, kind of, you know, more interested in, in guys now. Now it's like, no, I, I don't even want to date any sort of woman. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like completely changed. It's completely changed. And it's like, it's, a, it's just fascinating. It really is. And not only that, I think with the change of the type of hormones that I'm taking, um, like I was on the pills for many years, which destroyed, dest destroyed me you know, and all this other stuff, changing the, the form, patches, injection, and whatever. Um, I feel as though I, I feel much more confident now of, like, my body as, like, a female. You know what I mean? Not that, you know, I, I, I realize that, you know, biologically, I'm not a female or anything, you know? It's like, okay, you know, we understand that, you know? We're not... I'm not going to go around saying, oh, yeah, I am a totally a legit woman. It's like, no, not quite. Not really. No, I'm not. Um, but it's just, I feel as though I'm a lot more confident with my body now. And I think it's just because it is, the health of it has improved tremendously. And, you know, even just like when it comes to like sexuality and that sort of stuff, it's like for the longest time I would dream Whenever I would have a sexual dream, I would have a penis. I wouldn't necessarily be a man in my dream, but I would be like a woman, I guess, with 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 a penis. And you know, even in, you know, when I would have any sort of, like the only way I could really get aroused is if, is if I imagined myself having a penis, because that's what was so much better than what I had now. But I don't think it was necessarily all physical, like related to, to the surgery. I think it was very much mental that was I that was influenced by those hormones that were doing a lot of harm to me. So now when I have any sort of sexual dream, I am a woman 
in the dream and I have I don't have a dick in the dream guys I got a vagina in the dream and I put kimchi on it because I guess it's stinky and nasty and bacteria ridden or something you know what I mean I don't know I don't know and it's like ooh, the penis put some whipped cream on it banana split cherry on top oh it's so good so tasty you know and it's like okay you know I don't know I don't know I don't know what to tell you about that but um yeah it's just it's just really interesting it really is so I don't know and now also like I get I can't um, I can't really now imagine myself like if I have tried to imagine myself as like a guy and and you know with with a penis it just that doesn't work for me now it's like I have to imagine myself now as a woman with what I what I what I have now you know some kimchi com, some kimchi hole <laughs> okay that is where we end it when we say that that's where we end it bye bye that's disgusting I'm gonna rub it